In this video, we'll be looking at related rates, specifically rate of change of distance. We can use the chain rule to find rates of change of two or more related variables that are changing with respect to time if we differentiate implicitly with respect to time. The example that we'll be working with is find the rate of change of the distance between the origin and the moving point on the graph of y equals sine x if dx dt is equal to 2 centimeters per second. So what we have is a point moving along the graph of sine x And we want to know the rate of change of the distance between the origin and the moving point. So we need to use our distance formula, and then that'll give us our relationship between the variables. Um, our point of the origin is 0, 0. Our coordinates of the point that's moving along the graph is x and then sine x. And recall that the distance formula between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, is y2 minus y1 quantity squared plus x2 minus x1 quantity squared. So our relationship then, our distance between the origin and our point that's moving is going to be the square root of sine x minus 0 quantity squared plus x minus 0 quantity squared. Now to differentiate this, I'm going to square both sides first to get that radical off. So I have d squared equals, uh, this simplifies just to sine squared x plus x squared. All right, so this is our equation, uh, which relates our variables. Um, the derivative on the, of the left side is 2d, dd to t, hard to say. <laughs> and then the derivative of this first term is going to be 2 sine x times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x, and then dx dt, plus, and the derivative of this term is just 2x dx dt. Now that I've got the derivative, I can substitute in values that I know. I know that dx dt is 2, so I'm looking for dd dt. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2d. And it looks like I have... My 2 will cancel here, here, and here. So I have a sine x times a cosine x times dx dt, which they give us is 2, plus, and then x, they don't tell us about x, so we'll just write x, and then times 2 for dx dt. 
Now D, I need to come back up into the problem and I see that D is this expression right here. So I'm going to use that in the bottom here in place of d, square root of sine squared x plus x squared. So let's just clean this up just a little bit and move these twos out in front as the coefficient of the terms. So we have dd dt is equal to 2 sine x cosine x plus 2x over the square root of sine squared x plus squared. And I could label that as centimeters per second since my uh, dx dt was in centimeters per second also.